Lights are on and night has descended on Thomas Dodd Stadium here in Norwich, Connecticut as we are ready for our second matchup of the day as it is the 2014 Northeast Conference Baseball Tournament where the second seed Central Connecticut takes on the number three, Sacred Heart, in a matchup of two teams that know each other very well. The stakes just make the adrenaline fire as the 0-2 bounce toward the ranging shortstop short. His throw wide and one run will come in with Rivera. So Central Connecticut is on the board after Short's throw sails. one nothing in favor of the Blue Devils. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Ingham trying to drive in another. He lays down a bunt and going to head down to first. Kursky elects to throw there. Run comes in, and Josh Ingham's gamble has paid off. The throw gets away. Throw to the plate and safe. Man, oh, man. So Jennings is able to score after Sportman scores. What a gamble by Josh Ingham. Sorry for Kursky because he actually commits the worst of the two. And deflects this one off of his glove. Severino, who will get over to first base in time. They call him safe. Didn't necessarily get the most playing time as he wanted as the 0-2 ends up booted by the shortstop Rivera. Racing around and getting in to score. Well, the first yeah. run of the ball game for Sacred Heart will be Claybart. And I'll tell you, the way scoring has gone tonight, Rivera might get banged with another error right there. 1-2, Medina fights it off, but grounds this one. Hesitation, and he will get there. Second run comes in. After Ingham couldn't quite field it in time. This one bounced up towards second. Ingham, tough play. Can he make it? No, he can't. One run comes home. Second one, though. Throw to the plate. Game over. Medina ends up thrown out. Severino down to Fitzsimons. And that ends our ball game. Four twos. Four to three. Central Connecticut survives downstairs by tonight's winning pitcher Nick Newman and head coach Charlie Hickey and first of all just get the reaction from you coach on a wild finish that final play a high risk high reward maneuver there by your opponent at the end of the game rules reverse you think you would have gone for the same thing yeah I, I, I definitely appreciate the aggressiveness and in, in this type of game you got to keep pushing obviously a clean game it wasn't exactly well played but it was hard played and both teams battled obviously right down to the last out all right, now, Nick, before we got to that wild finish, you had a fantastic game going through six innings. You were very pumped after that six. Did you think that you would be going the distance when you came off the mound after six? I did think so, yeah. I mean, I know that my pitch count was up a little bit, and I was did feel a little tired, but it would have been nice to, to go the full nine. But I think that Matt came in and did a very good job, and bullpen took care of what they had to do. And then the seventh, where they finally did score against you, a couple of unearned runs, things didn't go the way you wanted to. Had a couple of errors behind you. You also had some pitches that you probably felt were good out pitches there. At the How are you able to persevere and make sure that you got that final out of that difficult inning? Um, the biggest thing that I thought was I just had to stay calm. I couldn't uh, let the game speed up on me. Um, had to step off, take a deep breath, um, and just make the pitch I had to make. Coach, a bit of a strange game in the sense that two good defensive teams out here tonight didn't really play that well defensively. How are you able to keep your players positive and upbeat as you played with a tight lead in the game well, where some things I, I, weren't going I think right? The big thing when you analyze those two innings is and they got two. Um, and Nick battled and competed. I mean, at last, I think we gave them six outs that inning. Um, and to get off the field with a two-run lead was huge. And obviously... Um, one enough to, to stand up in terms of being able to beat them on a tough night. Uh, Nick, you've got your arm taped up as you've had for a couple of innings. Tell me what it was like watching from the dugout as the game really flashed before your eyes on the final play. Uh, it was just, you know, really exciting. Um, I really, you know, I played in the tournament before, and I know how exciting, exciting it can be. And I really just wanted to get this win. All right, now, Coach, I'll ask you, you've got a difficult of you tomorrow and really for the rest of the tournament however long you go but you've got Craig Schlitter the pitcher of the year coming at you tomorrow for Bryant what's it going to take for your offense to have success against an arm like his well I, I think we're going to have to just battle and make the most opportunities I think we had a couple early in the game today that we capitalize on 
We're going to have to play close to perfect. Um, we understand where we're at. Um, Tommy Coughlin's going to get an opportunity to go out there and pitch the game of his life. All right, well, congratulations to both of you on the thrilling win tonight, and best of luck to you tomorrow. Thank you very much.